This morning, I thought I should share about this kind. <laughs> that is the subject. That is the title. This kind. Yeah? This kind that we keep talking about. What is it exactly? Have you asked yourself that question? What is it exactly? They keep saying, however, this kind doesn't go except by prayer and fast. However, this kind does not go except by prayer and fast. Now, yesterday I, I was meditating on this and I was studying and a few thoughts came to came to mind about this kind, you know. You know, you know so, some demons are very easy to cast out of our lives. I've had deliverance uh, sessions where, you know, just say go and it goes. Two minutes and it's done, you, somebody is set free and is, they are set free forever. Uh, but you need to be in the deliverance ministry for one week and you learn an important lesson that not all of them go that easily. <laughs> Okay, not all of them go that easily. Some of them are stubborn. Okay, and some of them are stubborn. Now, the other thought that came to mind yesterday, uh, Jesus, for him, he cast out the demon instantly. Uh, the disciples could not cast it out instantly. And if somebody would ask where you lie uh, would you say you lie on Jesus' side or on the disciples side eh? uh, jesus for him he cast out the thing instantly the disciples did not i want to believe that i am a disciple of the lord jesus meaning i might find myself also in a place where uh, some of the things don't go instantly. Somebody following, 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 eh? <laughs> you know. And the other thought that came to me, you know, I want you to open Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Eh? Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. I want you to, to open it and I show you something. The guys, it's not like the guys who failed to cast out this demon were not anointed. It's not like they didn't have power. Eh? Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, it says, Jesus summoned to him his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure all kinds of disease and all kinds of weakness and infirmity. I love this verse. It is one of my best verses because I also am still convinced I am also one of the disciples. So this verse is also mine. This verse is yours. If you're a disciple, uh, this verse is yours. <laughs> Are we together? This verse is ours. The same authority he gave the twelve, he gave to us. If you check out Matthew 28, uh, 18. Okay? You also have it. Now, the guys, the guys who had this power and authority, the guys who had authority over unclean spirits, all the 12 of them, they failed to cast out this demon. And I ask myself, what causes some demons to enter this category called this kind? Like, what could cause a demon to refuse to respond to this anointing? Just see that anointing. These guys were anointed. There's a time they came, they had gone on a mission, they came to back to Jesus reporting very excited that, Lord, even the Demons were subject to us. Hey, this wasn't like the first experience. This wasn't the first time. That's why they were surprised and came to Jesus and said, but why couldn't we cast it out? This was, it, it wasn't like they were used to, you know, the demons refusing. But what, 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 what is it? What is it about 
this kind. The other thought that came to me. You know, when we look at that scripture, uh, that scripture, Matthew chapter, I want us to read Matthew chapter 17. We shall read it again and again and again until something drops in our spirit. Matthew 17, we are going to read maybe from verse oh, 18 to 21, maybe. And I share with you another, another thought. Another thought that I got. Uh, Jesus rebuked <laughs> the demon and it came out of him. And the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus and asked privately, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith, that is your lack of family relying trust. For truly I say to you, if you have faith that is living like a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to yonder and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. But this kind... But this kind, do you know what he's telling them? But this kind, he's telling them, this is the other thought I got. Eh? The other thought I got is that, you know, you, even if you, you have faith that moves mountain, this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. So the thought I got, you know, most of the times, when I used to look at this scripture, I used to look it, at it from the point of, I don't have this faith, I can't have this faith, you know. But when you look at this scripture carefully, you see Jesus is speaking from the point of, if you have it, if you have it, He's talking from the point of, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you will speak to this mountain. So he's not saying they don't have it. He's saying the faith that you have, eh, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it goes. But this kind, this kind, this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. You know, I... I had this other thought that you can have something that the most anointed minister fails to deal with. <laughs> you may have an issue, okay? You have moved from uh, uh, Seguku uh, to Mutundwe. Uh, where are the other powerful places? To uh, all these places I went to Raga, to all these places, looking for the most anointed, looking for the most acclaimed, looking for the one that you know really will deal with your issue, and it is still there. It is still there. <laughs> to your analysis, to healing station. And it is still there. You see? The guys who had the commission of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, they had the commission of Luke chapter 10, verse 19. <laughs> Luke chapter 10, verse 19. They had the commission of uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 2, but they failed to heal this epileptic. Eh? What, what causes some demons, some spirits to enter into this category? Called this kind. What makes them special? Eh? What makes them special? And then the Lord taught me something. The Lord taught me something about some of these spirits that are stubborn. Some of these things that are, are called this kind. These, some of these spirits, they are not just in my life. They have been in my family line for generations. So they, 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 they won't just go just like that. There's a time where in a school <laughs> called Muyebe, 
in Kabale, some of people know it, and there was a demon we were trying to cast out. One of the sisters had taken us there to cast out a demon. The demon laughed at us. Almost the whole night, I started planning my exit. But then, I couldn't just go away. You know, you, you can't leave. Ah, the, the, the divine session like that. The demon laughed at us, laughed at us. You know, somewhere in the middle of the deliverance session, one of the teachers passed around. I don't know whether she had an issue with a student. The student beat, the, slapped the teacher, you know, and then continued laughing at us and things like that. And we did all the things. We sang songs. We did. I sang songs. Did what? The thing laughed at us. What makes these things stubborn? You know, some of these things have been in the family line for generations sometimes a demon in someone's life okay it's like uh you know those those trees or those plants that have complex root systems in the ground like you don't just pluck it out you know it looks small on the surface but down the the roots are, are, have just moved all over the place you get that so you try to pluck it out it's not easy to pluck out because it has a complex root system you don't just you don't just pull it out are you getting this and then somebody you find that somebody has had this spirit for so many years that it has become deep rooted it has developed strong root systems and then you find that somebody also has like a, a, a lifestyle that has kind of fortified this spirit and it has taken even deeper root because of their lifestyle or oh, there are some some open doors or oh, there are some you know things like unforgiveness and, and bitterness and all those kind of things and pride and all those kind of things and because of those kind of things this spirit becomes deep rooted in a person in a person are you getting this are you getting this? We, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we are trying to, to get at the, at, at the, at the, uh, at the bottom, do they say at the bottom of the matter? <laughs> Something like that. You know, those things that are just stubborn, you know, like, like every, every boy, like every boy in your child just has asthma. Like every, you, you some things you, you just, and the other, the other, reason why some of these spirits are stubborn is that it has made itself so comfortable and you have also like uh found a way of living with it so you are both comfortable with the with the each other you know i've i've, I've sometimes been in a healing meeting and you call out for some people with some conditions and you see somebody with a condition sitting in front of you, but they don't. They don't come because uh, they become comfortable with the condition. They learn how to manage it, and uh, they are okay with it. So you try to get the demon out of the person, but the person, there is a way they they are comfortable with the thing. Uh, does this make sense? You know, this kind, this kind. Jesus gave us a prescription. He gave us a prescription. He said, this kind does not go, does not go except by prayer and fasting. Except by prayer and fasting. And children of God, we don't have to have a lot of theological explanation about the how the prayer and fasting is going to pluck it out jesus just told us you know i like the way jesus told he wasn't as complex as we are these days you would just give them one line this one doesn't go except by prayer and fasting take it or leave it he did not give you uh, 20 ways how prayer and fasting is going to get it out. Seven ways how prayer and fasting is going to work. He, he, he didn't have that kind of style. He would just say, uh, however, 
this one does not go except by prayer and fasting. You either pray and fast or not. You, you take it or leave it. And you move on to another topic. <laughs> ah, so child of God, if you have that kind of thing that is stubborn, that kind of thing that has refused to go, you are in the right place and you are in the right season. It must go because you are engaging God's mighty weapon. It's called prayer and fasting. Whatever it is, no matter how deeply rooted it is, no matter how you know entrenched in your family this alcoholism thing is, no matter how deep this this whole issue is of people not getting married in your family, no matter, you know, just look at whatever it is that seems to be in your family line. As we pray and fast, it must be uprooted. It must be uprooted. It must go. You must refuse to let go. You must refuse to give up until it goes. The Bible says, submit yourselves then to God. How do we do that? Through prayer and fasting. We are submitting our ourselves to God. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Resist the devil and he will flee. As we are praying and fasting, we are resisting. We are resisting those spirits. I tell you the truth. We are resisting those spirits. We, I was praying for you yesterday. I was praying for us yesterday that we shall have testimony upon testimony out of this BTZ. We shall have testimony upon testimony out of this fasting that finally this stubborn spirit left finally this stubborn it's gone it's no longer in my life finally i'm free of these allergies finally i'm free of this condition finally i'm free in the name of jesus it shall be your portion let it be your portion in the name of jesus you will overcome you will overcome you will uproot it you will uproot it yes it has taken years but you will uproot that thing out of your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't give up. Just don't give up. You have engaged the right weapon. You have engaged the right, you have the right arsenal in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said, however this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. Whatever it is that has refused to go by other means, it goes this season. It goes this season because we have a prescription. We are taking the right medicine. I say we are taking the right medicine it shall go in the mighty name of Jesus we have found the right drug we have found the right medicine it shall go it shall go in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus yes it goes it goes he told them it goes he told them this kind doesn't go except by prayer and fasting except by prayer and fasting all those strong roots things, all those, you know, alcoholism, all those mental, mental, you know, for us in the medical circles, we call it mental health, you know. Mental health is an issue in the country. Mental health has become a problem. Mental health, mental health, mental health, you know. But, uh, you know, there's a way God calls it differently. They are demons. They are demons. They will be uprooted in the name of Jesus. They will be uprooted. They shall go. They shall go in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Spirits of masturbation. Spirits of pornography. They must go in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirits of uh, lesbianism. Those spirit, spirit husbands. They must go in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit, every spirit of sexual perversion. Every spirit of sexual perversion that manifests in people's dreams at night. Every spirit of sexual perversion that has now attacked people's marriages. It must go. You must go. We uproot you. In the name of Jesus, every Jezebelic spirit, you must go. You must leave in the name of Jesus. We are not letting go. We are not putting our foot off the pedal. In the mighty name of Jesus, you must go. You must go in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They go. They go in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So that was what I learned about this kind. This kind is deeply rooted. This kind 
it's kind of sometimes they are generational things. It's not just you. It was in your uncle. It was in your father. It was in his father. It was in his father's father and whatever. And so it doesn't just want to go like that. But it will go. Because we are engaging. We are engaging the weapon that Jesus told us. Prayer and fasting. It will go. Be encouraged, child of God. Your victory has come. Be encouraged, child of God. Your victory is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Father. We give you honor, Father, because our victory is here. We give you honor, Father. Our victory is here. Our victory is here. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. You have overcome. That thing, no matter how stubborn it is, keep telling it every day, at the cross it was disarmed. Keep telling it every day, at the cross it was defeated. Keep telling it every day, Jesus led it in his victory procession, in the name of Jesus. Keep telling it every day, it is overcome, it was disarmed, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.